English 113. Grammar 1. Chapter 3. Using the Simple Present. Part 2. Chapter 3. Using the Simple Present. Part 2. The Simple Present Tense. Adverbs of Frequency. The meaning of adverbs of frequency. As you can see, we have a chart. We list the frequency adverb, the meaning, and the examples. So, the first frequency adverb is always, meaning 100%. I always pray in the mosque. The second frequency adverb is usually, meaning 90 to 99%. Susan usually brushes her teeth. The third frequency adverb is often, meaning 75 to 90%. We often watch TV after lunch. The fourth frequency adverb, sometimes, meaning 25 to 75%. John sometimes makes his bed. The frequency adverb, seldom, meaning 5 to 10%. Our teacher seldom comes to class late. The next frequency adverb, rarely, meaning 1 to 10%, Example is, my father rarely travels abroad. And the last frequency adverb example, never. Meaning, 0%. My sister never eats meat. The simple present tense. The position of adverbs of frequency. Use adverbs of frequency between the subject and the simple present verb. Except the main verb be. Examples. I usually walk to school. Khaled often takes the bus. Often is a frequency adverb. Khaled, this is the subject. Takes is the verb. Use adverbs of frequency after the main verb be. Our teacher is always on time. Always is the adverb of frequency. Be is, in this example, is. The main verb in this sentence is what I'm circling right now. As you can see, there's a rule here. Use adverbs of frequency after main verb be. We are never late. Never is the adverb of frequency. Are is the main verb be. As you notice, never, the adverb of frequency, comes after the main verb be. The simple present tense, the position of adverbs of frequency. In a negative sentence, use adverbs of frequency before a negative verb except always. So in a negative sentence, use adverbs of frequency before a negative verb except always. I usually don't walk to school. Usually is the adverb of frequency and the negative verb don't. Well, as you can see with the rule here, usually would go before a negative verb. John doesn't always make his bed. The negative verb doesn't is before the adverb of frequency. Now why is that? Look back to the rule. In a negative sentence, use adverbs of frequency before a negative verb, except always. So that means when you are using always as your adverb of frequency, it goes after the negative verb. In a question, use adverbs of frequency directly after a subject. Examples. Do you always go to bed early? You is a subject. The adverb of frequency always will go after the subject since it is a question. Another example. What time does your father usually, adverb of frequency, arrive home? Question mark. So you know this is the question. Father is a subject. So the adverb of frequency will go after the subject. Frequency goes directly after the subject. The simple present tense. The spelling of the third person. Final S. Add ES to verbs ending in SH, CH, SS, and X.
the base form is wash. The third person singular is washes. This is an SH, so ES goes after. The example, Ollie washes his hands before he eats. The next examples, the base form teach, the third person singular teaches, the CH or the ES goes after, John teaches English. The next example, the base form is miss, the third person singular misses, so you can see it ends in SS, so we will have an ES. Tom misses his mother a lot. The last example, fix, the third person singular will be fixes. Mike fixes his computer. And the X is here. Follow the rules here. And you will know the ES goes after that. The simple present tense. The spelling of the third person final S. Delete the Y and add IES to verbs ending in Y and is preceded by a consonant. For example, T B L S N K R P V, etc. A consonant is anything that is not a vowel. What is a vowel? A E I O U. The example, cry. The third person singular, you delete the Y and it becomes I E S. Now, the R, as you can see in both examples here, this is a consonant. When the Y has a consonant before it, you add IES. This goes for all the other examples in this chart. Our baby cries a lot. Fly becomes flies. My father flies to Dubai every month. Try becomes tries. Mary tries to lose weight. Study becomes studies. Bob studies computer science. And to show you one more time, the D is a consonant, isn't it? So, you delete the Y and add an IES. Only add S to verbs ending in Y that are preceded by a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. Example, by becomes buys. How come you didn't add an IES? Well, there is a vowel before the Y. The vowel is U. If there is a vowel before the Y, then you only add an S. And this will go for the examples in this chart. My father always buys us some ice cream. Say becomes says in the third person singular. The sign says back in 10 minutes. Enjoy becomes enjoys. Mary enjoys traveling abroad. Play becomes plays. Bob plays football once a week. Now, why did you add the S here? To remind you, if there is a vowel before the Y, an S goes after the Y in third person singular. If there is a consonant before the Y, you add IES after the Y in third person singular. The simple present tense, the spelling of the third person final S. Some verbs are irregular. The base form have becomes has. Ahmad has two brothers and one sister. The base form do in the third person singular becomes does. How often does he complete his homework after dinner? The base form the base form go in the third person singular becomes goes. Salma goes shopping every week. The simple present tense. The pronunciation of the third person final S. There are three different pronunciations for the final sound of the third person singular as in talks, as moves, and as in fixes. The final sound is pronounced after the voiceless sounds F, H, K, P, S, T, T, H, as in think. Here are the example. Drinks. Please note the pronunciation. Our baby drinks plenty of milk. Third person singular writes. Please note the pronunciation. He often writes about his native country. 
The third person singular sleeps. Please note the pronunciation. She usually sleeps on her back. The final sound is pronounced after the voice sounds B D G L M N R V Y T H as in the and all the vowels A E I L U. Third person singular rides. Please note the pronunciation. Ahmad rides the bus to work. Third person singular runs. Please note the pronunciation. He often runs two miles a day. Third person singular goes. Please note the pronunciation. Salma goes shopping every week. The final sound is pronounced after verbs end with s h c h s s and x. The third person singular teaches. Please note the pronunciation. David teaches English. The third person singular fixes. Please note the pronunciation. My uncle fixes computers. The third person singular cashes. Please note the pronunciation. He cashes a check at the bank once a week. End of part two.